Hello traders, in today's video we're going to be covering high block capital and some more of the really cool indicators that they offer. Let's dive in. So let's go look at the average leverage used by OKEX traders and see how that correlates to price and volatility. So for me, I actually prefer to use average leverage used, which is what you're looking at here. Red is the shorts leverage and green is the longs leverage. I prefer to use it for volatility, but you can also use this for bias. Bias such that if you think that the longs are using just way too much leverage, then there could be a long squeeze. If you think the shorts are using way too much leverage, there could be a short squeeze. That's one thing you could do. Another thing that I like to do is to look at when, when overall, there's just a large amount of leverage being used. And that's when it's a good idea probably to buy volatility. So to buy move contracts, to buy BVOL, and potentially to buy calls and puts, um, buy options. So something like this is something that would have been just an amazing opportunity to have bought volatility. I mean, you can see just how over leveraged these longs are. And price just kind of flew everywhere. It, it went down 17%, uh, then it went up 21%, then it went down you know, 14%, then it went up like right here, uh, 24%. And this is over the period of a few days, um, a few days to a week. Yeah, like a few days, really. So this was just an insane amount of volatility. And this is, again, something that would tell me that it might be a good idea at this time to buy move contracts, you know, in March uh, 2020, in late March 2020. Another time to probably have bought uh, move contracts. Again, whenever one of these spikes, that's a sign for me. A lot of leverage is being used. There's probably gonna be a fair amount of volatility to liquidate um, or just to fly around because that's what happens when traders are over leveraged in this market. Another example of that that was really, really good is this kind of setup that happened twice. At this market top, um, right before we got some, some some decent downside volatility, we see this kind of formation with longs using a lot of leverage, shorts not using much. It happened again, the same exact pattern here. Longs using a lot of leverage, it spikes. Uh, shorts not really using much leverage. This could even indicate that top traders were jumping or adding to their positions at a market top because they were all expecting price to fly past 10,000 maybe. So they all bought around maybe the 9,900s and that might be reflected here. And the shorts maybe just got out at around 10,000. Maybe that's why that's decreasing right there for average leverage. But um, irregardless of that, if you hold a fair amount of volatility, I, I don't think anyone can argue with that, that a 18% down move over the period of two days is, is very high volatility. So this would have been another great time to have bought uh, to buy volatility. So if you're wondering, well, okay, so it looks like the market's very volatile then, what would be a good time that's probably not to get, that's probably a good time to short volatility, to bet on the market really not doing much, sell move contracts. Guys, it's really stuff like this that for me is a sign that just not much is going to happen. Is there any spike in average leverage use? No. It doesn't really look like anything is happening that's too out of the norm, really. I mean, there's just not much happening. And here, just volatility was tiny. Nothing was happening at all. So shorting volatility anywhere around here would have been nice. But again, when I say buying volatility and shorting volatility, I'm talking about weekly move contracts. So these contracts are probably gonna last anywhere from one day to seven days, you know? Or another thing you can do if you wanna trade pure volatility is you can trade move contracts that do not yet have a strike price because those just are gonna be based on volatility and theta. And if you don't, uh, if, if that doesn't make sense, then you can message me about, you know, that whole strategy and I can let you in on it too. But yeah, so this is, a, this is a sign that probably just not much is gonna happen, not much did. So this is just one of the indicators that Highblock has recently um, offered. And the reason I'm covering this uh, tool today and really the site today is today they've gone live. They finally moved out of beta and the website is live and they have just so many cool things that I will be playing with in the future. And we also currently see, let me get rid of that, we also currently see that the shorts are very over leveraged here. So maybe this could be a time where volatility could go all over the place. Um, we could have some decent volatility. We'll see. I think that if this keeps going higher, maybe if longs start using some more leverage, you know, if we see more traders using more leverage, that could be a sign of some, some pretty big volatility to come. You can also use this on a shorter term basis. Like if I want to pull up the 15 minute, look at this. You can see right um, here, you know, 
Typically, it's shorts who are using more leverage, but you can see the very second that the longs were actually using more leverage and the shorts price dumped. That's something to probably think of right there. And yeah, anything else? Yeah, it's basically like, it looks like the, the shorts are almost always using more leverage than longs are using. Mm hmm. And then I think that's probably just an API error, that kind of like random spike that you saw there. But it seems like every single time, really, that uh, long's average leverage was higher than short's average leverage, price just couldn't go any higher. Seems like really, like, literally almost every single time. See that right there? So yeah, maybe this could be an indicator you, you could you could use for bias and not just for like trading volatility like me. You know, when I see something like this, uh, just average leverage spiking to me, or average, le uh, average leverage spiking like up here, to me or here, this is a sign to buy volatility. This is a sign that the market's probably going to be very volatile. And for me recently, the reason I keep saying volatility and mentioning this is I've become, I'd say more of an options trader slash volatility trader, move contract trader, rather than just discretionary, discretionary um, long, short futures perpetuals. This has been kind of my, my style a little bit more. So I'm always looking for indicators like this that give me reads on how over leveraged people could be because that could fuel future volatility. With that, I hope this was helpful. I highly recommend you guys all go check out HighBlock. Just covered one indicator here today, but there's plenty more for you to go check out. With that, happy trading.